of course, as a Buddhist, uh, Zen is a part of Mahayana Buddhism. We take refuge in Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Those are basically fat. I don't know if love is a good word or not, <laughs> but in a sense, that is love. <laughs> and uh, Dogen says, Buddha is a good teacher, and Dharma, Buddha's teaching, is good medicine, and Sangha is good friends that help us, each other, to recover the health, mental health. Those are the three most valuable things for all Buddhists. But those, according to Dogen, those three are not really through three different things. But uh, Buddha, as Dharmakaya, or Dharma body, is this uh, entire universe, entire reality. And Dharma is how uh, all beings are within this uh, entire universe, or entire uh, network of interdependent origination. And all beings within that interconnectedness are Sangha. As a religion called Buddhism, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha means Shakyamuni and his teaching and people who study what Buddha taught. According to Dogen, those are not only a way to see those three treasures, but this entire universe in which we are living and how that is Buddha and how those things are existing, that is interconnectedness, that is Dharma. And all beings existing within this interconnectedness are Sangha. So actually this is what we love <laughs> and we trust. I think the very basis of uh, Mahayana Buddhist teaching is interconnectedness. Because we are each beings are empty, that means lack of uh, self-nature, that is uh, independent entity. We, are, we cannot be independent entity. We can uh, live or exist uh, within interconnectedness. Uh, that means we are supported by all beings, not only people, but we are supported by air, water, and everything. There's no way to live without uh, uh, gratitude, because we can live based on you know, support by all beings. Without support by all beings, we cannot really even exist. You know, we, our thinking is very ego-centered, but this ego-centered way of thinking can be because of the support by others. You know, even our language, you know, in my case Japanese, uh, is a gift from the Japanese society or tradition. You know, Japanese people lived in that islands, uh, had been developing the language, and because I was born, somehow, you know, uh, I was given. Japanese language as a gift. And I use the lang Japanese language to create a very ego-centered <laughs> idea. <laughs> so even our egocentricity is a product of interdependence. So uh, we cannot live without gratitude, appreciation to all beings in which we are living together. I think the basis of forgiveness is uh, repentance. In a Bodhisattva practice in Mahayana, teaching, Mahayana teachings, uh, vow and repentance should be always together. Vow, you know, we take four Bodhisattva vows. Being a numberless, we vow to free them. The religions are inexhaustible, we vow to end them. Uh, Dharma gates are boundless, I vow to enter them or master them. And Buddha's way is unsurpassable, we vow to realize it. Those are four Bodhisattva vows. So all, bo all Mahayana Buddhists need to take those four vows. 
and yet those four vows are really endless vow. That means there's no time we can say I have accomplished all those four vows. There's no, no uh, way to completely accomplish, fulfill those vows. That means our practice is always incomplete, no matter how many years, we, how long we practice. So uh, the another side of practice basing, uh, uh, based on our Bodhisattva vow is repentance. And repentance is not something negative. It's not something like, uh, I'm sorry I made such and such mistake and I try not to make another mistake. But uh, rather repentance is uh, awareness of uh, how incomplete we are. So we, as far as we practice based on vow, we have to practice repentance as awareness. Uh, and this, uh, because of this uh, repentance or awareness of incompleteness, uh, it's kind of natural if you know, other people make mistake and, uh, and I cannot you know, judge they are bad. You know, I'm right. Because uh, you know, there is a kind of a, a famous saying by uh, <coughs> Prince Shotoku, who, who was the f uh, almost the first Japanese person who studied uh, Buddhism in the sixth century, and he said, "What I think right might be wrong with other people, and what uh, they think right is not right to me." both of us might be wrong. So, that, so we are both ordinary deluded human beings. So that, I think that uh, awareness that we are not complete, perfect person is a ground of forgiveness. I think vow is not something uh, we think and we promise I do such and such thing. But the vow, uh, at least those four Bodhisattva vows, is based on the way we are within uh, the network of interdependent origination. Uh, because we are living together with all beings, we have to uh, live based on that reality. And yet that is very difficult to understand and see in our way of thinking. That's why we need those vows. Those vows are not, uh, how can I say, came from our thinking. That's why, you know, in order to, in order not to be deceived by our thinking, that is always uh, self-centered, uh, I think we need vow as a, a part of interconnectedness. We need to vow to live on that uh, reality or, or fa foundation. But our thinking is always deviated from uh, that reality, you know, for all of us. Me is most important than others. Others are not so important, like me, myself. That is a kind of a natural thing in our thinking. In order to put more value, on that reality, fundamental reality than my thinking, my personal view, personal limited habitual way of thinking. Uh, I think that is why we need power.